we present an approach for face inpainting based on high-level facial attributes. Humans can detect even the slightest unnatural appearance in a face. This makes face inpainting particularly challenging. Here is a happy face, uh, which is inpainted with a sad mouth, resulting in a weird look. Our approach is capable of naturally inpainting a face while ensuring compatibility in terms of high-level facial attributes, such as ethnicity, gender, and expression. Given an occluded face, our approach first analyzes the available region of the face to estimate the high-level facial attributes. It then uses these attributes to retrieve a guidance face from a face dataset. Our approach also decomposes the face image into reflection and shading layers, on which a patch-based face inpainting is done by an MRF optimization, with the help of the guidance faces for providing extra repairing patches. The result is a naturally inpainted face. Our optimization considers several cost terms, including a data term, a pairwise term, a symmetry prior, and a guidance face prior. Our approach estimates the skin tone, ethnicity, gender, and expression from the available region of an occluded face. Based on the estimation, it then automatically retrieves a guidance face from a face dataset, which consists of over a thousand face images organized into different clusters. Here, the nose is transferred from the guidance face to repair the nose of the input face, which is completely missing. To separate the variation caused by shading from that caused by reflectance, we apply our inpainting approach separately on the shading and reflectance images obtained by intrinsic image decomposition. The inpainting images are then combined to form a final output. Here shows a comparison between running our approach directly on the RGB image and separately on the intrinsic images. Running our approach on intrinsic images gives a better result. The skin tone of the inpainted region matches more closely with that of the available region, and there is less artifacts near the boundary of the inpainted region. Here shows different inpainting results. Our approach can satisfactorily repair occluded faces of different genders, ethnicities, and skin tones, and showing different expressions. Our approach can also be applied to inpaint the missing regions of frontalized faces, resulting from the originally occluded regions of oblique faces. We also conducted a preliminary user study to evaluate the quality of our results. About half of the participants think that our inpainted faces are natural faces. We believe our approach does a satisfactory job considering that humans are good at detecting even the slightest unnatural appearance in faces. We presented an approach for face inpainting using high-level facial attributes. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.